Hey, what's up guys, and thanks for tuning into my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SH figure arts from the original Dragon Ball series, Bulma Adventure Begins. So, starting off with the box, we see it's a very small box. We see the Dragon Ball logo down here. We got a pink background, Bulma Adventure Begins. And this is Bulma when she first appeared in the original Dragon Ball series, just as a young teenager. So here we have her holding, the, I think that's a two-star Dragon Ball. We see Bulma on her chest. We got some black and white photos of her. We got a boot and a smile, Adventure Begins. On the side here, Bulma Adventure Begins. On the back here, just some uh, photos and descriptions that I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with at this point. So I'm just gonna bring that off to the side and bring in the figure right here. So here is Bulma, very skinny. And of course, she's not a fighter, so she has no need to be all muscular and bulky. Um, she is taller than Goku, of course, because she is older. Goku was just a little kid where she was already a teenage girl, I believe. And we got some very nice detailing up on the face here. We got a nice red bow. We even got a little elastic here at the end of her ponytail, the number 97, which I actually don't know the significance of. Here we have a gun on her belt. And then a little packet here, which probably holds the dragon radar. Got nice painting on the boots here. We got a glove. And before I do this next part, I'm just going to say that this, uh, all my videos are not for kids. I just want to emphasize that because if we look under her skirt, I'm sorry, we see we even got the polka dotted underwear, which was uh, present in the show as well. So once again, these videos are not made for kids. So view at your own discretion. So let's go over articulation real quick. Head is on a ball uh, or a hinge swivel, actually. There's also a swivel at the base of the neck. No extra motion at this neck joint right here. Uh, the ponytail is actually on a hinge and a swivel as well. So you can actually get some pretty decent poses there. That's really nice. Elbows, or sorry, shoulders go up to just past 90 and they spin all the way around. I do not believe she has a butterfly joint here. Um, we got bicep rotation. We also have elbow bend that bends this far as well as a uh, ball hinge at the wrist. Getting this out of the way, we have a ball joint at <clears throat> ab crunch, as well as a, another ball joint at the waist. Got legs that kick up this far. This uh, skirt is made of rubber, so we can get some decent poses out of here. Kick forward about that far, and then also kicks back about that far. We got knee bend that goes that far. This knee is a little loose, so that's not the best there, but maybe it's just my copy. Uh, we also got a swivel hinge at the ankle here. We got a hinge here, a swivel, as well as a swivel into the foot. And actually, she does not have a toe pivot, so there is that. I'm just going to bring her here. Let's take a look at some of the accessories real quick that come with Bulma. So, of course, we start off with faces. We got a happy face. We also got a, oh my god, probably when Master Roshi starts creeping on her kind of face. And to switch the faces, it's fairly simple. All we're going to do is grab the bottom of her head and just pull this top piece of her hair right off, just like that. And all we're going to do now is just take the face, pop it right off, just like that, and let's make her happy. And we're just going to take these two pegs we're gonna peg into those two holes right there all the way and then bring our hair piece back and just line things up just make sure everything fits and here we got a face switched just like that and next let's take a look at some of the hands here so make sure things don't roll away stop moving stop moving stop rolling Okay, so we got a few hands. Just taking a look here, all the hands we got. So because her hands are actually different, one hand is glove, one hand isn't, we actually have different ones. So here we have a complete kind of open palm hand, which is actually made to, I think, carry the Dragon Ball, which I will show in a second here. We also have a pointer finger hand, as in like, I'm going to shoot you kind of hand, or also just like, yeah, kind of hand. And these are all, these, both of these are left. Now for the right hand, we also have a open palm kind of hand to hold something, or maybe the Dragon Ball again. We have a 
trigger hand, which is actually to hold her gun, which I will show in a second as well. We have a pointing finger hand, which is similar to this one, except the thumb is actually down. We have a hand with a peg on it, and this is to hold the Dragon Radar. And we also have a hand that holds the number 9 capsule, which is actually her bike, which I will show during comparisons. Now, the other accessory that she comes with is her gun. So we see that it's on her holster right now on her belt, but she does come with a unholstered gun. And this just fits in the, <clears throat> the trigger finger hand, which is right here. All we're going to do is just slide that through the hand. And that we have her holding the gun. And to change the hands, of course, pretty easy. We just grab the forearm, grab the hand, and just pull it right off. I'm going to pop this new hand right on, just like so. And then we got Bulma holding the gun. And, well, we can't have two guns now, do we? Can we? So we're going to take this part, and we're just going to pull it right off. comes on a peg. And we're going to take this new piece, which is an empty holster, and we're going to pop that right on her belt. And that will show that she's now holding the gun rather than it being on the holster. So there is that. And of course, the other accessory here that we got here is the Dragon Radar. And if we see clearly, we actually have all seven Dragon Balls on this radar. It's pretty cool. Very nicely detailed for something so small. And there's a peg hole on the back, which of course goes with uh, the hand with a peg on it. So all we're going to do is just line it up. Just make sure that fits. Just like so. And here we have the hand with Bulma holding the Dragon Radar. And of course, last but not least, we have the two-star Dragon Wall, which this one is the clear, unpainted one. Let's see here. Again, these are the Earth Dragon Walls, which are very small, as we can see, just about the size of her fist, rather than the Mechan Dragon Walls, which are about the size of her head. And either one of these open palm hands can be used to hold the Dragon Ball. So that is that. Now let's get some quick comparisons going on here. Here we have her best friend and childhood partner in crime, Goku. And here we also have the number nine capsule, which is actually her bike. This is actually a figure arts, um, I guess, figure? It's not really a figure, but it's a very good... Uh, display piece in and of itself. And I will do a review on that fairly soon. So there is that. Now here we actually have another Bulma. This was the one that was released first. Uh, this was the one that never really appeared in the anime, but I believe this was, uh, this is kind of what she looked like in the, um, in the comics. So this is the other Bulma. I think I'm gonna do a review of this one next, just so we can have a better comparison between the two Bulmas. So there's that. And let's get these guys out of the way now. Get this bike out of the way. And get rid of Goku. So yeah, it's a very nice little figure. Uh, Bulma Adventure Begins from the original Dragon Ball series. Really captures her, um, her, her appearance and depiction in the show very nicely. So I really like this figure. It's not too expensive either. You can still find it for, I'm thinking around 50 bucks on Amazon Japan. And uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Also, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications as that really helps YouTube get to notice my channel and also continues to encourage me to put out more quality content. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye.